S70 Max Video Tutorials This is the power adapter for the S70 Max. Here you can switch to the local voltage, available in 115 volts and 230 volts. This is the 50-liter high-flow air pump for the S70 Max. Insert the air hose of the air pump. Plug in the S70 Max power supply. And plug in the air pump power supply. Organize the cables and secure them with the cable clips. Plug in the adapter power cable and turn on the power adapter switch. Turn on the child safety lock switch, emergency stop switch and power switch. Press the focus button for the auto focus. Long press the focus button, the laser automatically returns to the home position. Connect the data cable to the corresponding interface and connect it to the computer. If using the S70 Max for the first time, don't open Lightburn software directly. The installation of the CH340 driver is necessary before you use it. The download link is on the page 8 of the manual. Open the link and click on here to download. Open the downloaded file. Extract the file. Double click to install. Click on install. This indicates that the installation is completed. You can check whether the installation is successful in this PC. Manage Device Manager Ports If the CH340 is displayed here, it indicates that the installation is successful. Then you can open the Lightburn software and use it. Using S70 Max for the first time, you will need to create a device first. If this is the first time you install the Lightburn software, it will automatically jump to the Devices window. If this does not happen, click on the Devices to open the Devices window. Click on Create manually, select GRBL. Select USB. Rename it to S70 Max. Set the X-axis length parameter to 830 millimeters Set the Y-axis length parameter to 800 millimeters. We will keep the original settings here. For this one, you can choose to turn it on or off according to your needs. It is recommended to turn it off. And that's how it was created. Then we can find the newly created S70 Max device here. The corresponding working area of X-axis is 830 millimeters. Y-axis is 800 millimeters. Select COM3. If it shows ready here, it means the connection is successful. If multiple ports appear here at the same time, and you don't know which one to choose, click on this PC, select Manage, Device Manager, and click on Ports to see the corresponding port. CH340 is the corresponding port. After connecting to the S70 Max, Click on the settings icon. Here in the units and grids, select the millimeter, min. Finally, the initial settings of the S70 Max is completed. After the S70 Max is installed, the laser does not emit light when framing. This makes it impossible to determine the size and position of the engraving frame. Open the Edit function, select Device Settings, turn on the Enable Laser Fire button, and enable the laser on when framing. Then we go ahead to this Move Window section. Enter 0.1% here for fire. If the Move Window section is not available in the light burn, select Move in the drop-down menu of the window to enable it. Click on Move, enter 0.1%. When framing again, the laser emits laser light. And the size and position of the engraving frame can be checked. 
The S70 Max automatically emits a cross-positioning cursor when switched on. The first function of this cross-positioning cursor is used to assist the placement of the materials. The second role is to assist cutting it is the same as the blue light framing. But please note that the frame position of the cross-positioning cursor is not in the same position as the cutting. The reason is that there is the offset between the position of cross-positioning cursor and the position of blue light laser. So we need to set the offset parameter in Lightburn in advance. In the drop-down menu of the edit, select device settings, turn on enable pointer offset. The x-axis is set to minus 5.5 millimeters, y-axis is 26.5 millimeters. Finally, this is the frame position of the cross-positioning cursor. This is the position where the actual cutting is made. The actual cutting position and the position of the cross-positioning cursor are the same. Click on Edit. Select Device Settings. Turn on Enable Z-Axis. Click on Move to open the Move window. Here you can control the lifting and lowering of the Z-Axis and set the distance and speed of each lifting and lowering of the z-axis when cutting thicker wood boards it can be cut by multiple lowering for a better cutting result when using z-axis lowering cutting enable z-axis should be turned on double click the cutting layer to open the cut settings editor Number of passes refers to the total cutting passes. Z stepper pass refers to the value of each lowering. Change the number of passes to 2. Change the Z stepper pass to 5 millimeters. Then we will show the final cutting effect. The Z offset means the lowering value before cutting. For example, the wood board is too thick. We need to lower 5 mm to ensure the final cutting effect. I will set 5 mm for Z offset. After setting up, the laser will automatically lower 5 mm before cutting. The cutting results will be better. In the console, the control commands of the S70 Max can be entered here. The control commands are clearly stated in the manual. For example, this is the control command of the cross positioning cursor. Enter dollar cross equals zero in the console and press enter key. If OK is displayed here, it means that the command has been executed successfully. The cross positioning cursor function of the laser will be turned off. The zero in dollar cross equals zero refers to off. The one in dollar cross equals one refers to on. After executing the command, the cross positioning cursor function of the laser will be turned on. This is the control command of the air pump. Back to the console. Enter command dollar air equals 50. The air pump will blow at maximum power. Enter dollar air equals one. The air pump will blow at minimum power. Then we can also set the S70 Max control commands as shortcuts. On, off, on, off. How to set the shortcut keys? Right click macro. First enter the name of the shortcut key air assist 1 liter. And then enter the command dollar air equals 1. Enter the shortcut key name in the same way air assist 50 liter. Enter the command dollar air equals 50. 1 liter, 50 liter, 50 liter, 1 liter. Finally, we will introduce two commonly used shortcut commands. The shortcut name is low speed. Command is dollar speed equals zero. Another one is high speed. Command is dollar speed equals one. Next. Let's take a look at the functions of these two commands. 
Low speed refers to the low speed engraving mode. The engraving speed is slow, but the engraving effect is better. High speed is high speed engraving mode, although the engraving speed is faster. The engraving effect is not as good as that of low speed. Plug in the TS1 power plug. Plug in the other end. And plug the USB cable from the computer. Connect it to the TS1. Move right. Move up. Homing. Export the G-code files to the SD card. Insert SD card to realize offline cutting and engraving. Open the cutting files and start cutting. When there is a warning shows laser lens has been contaminated, it indicates that the laser lens needs to be replaced or cleaned. First, remove the laser head. Clean dust on laser head surface. Remove the laser nozzle. Then remove the lens component. Finally clean the lens. If the lens is seriously dirty, it needs to be replaced. Clean the nozzle. When installing it back, pay attention to the orientation of the lens component. It is flipped here must pay attention to the direction and front and back during installation. Finally, follow the instructions to install the laser head back. There is a problem with the laser getting stuck when focusing. The reason is that the laser is mounted to high. It exceeds the z-axis range of the laser. This can be solved by mounting the laser lower. Note, the problem can be solved by adjusting the laser height when the z-axis of the laser is blocked. If the belt of the S70 Max machine is to lose, it will cause deviations when engraving or cutting. In this case, we need to adjust the belt tension. First loosen the belt adjustment wheel. 
tension the belt by tightening the corresponding screws. Finally, tighten the belt adjustment wheel. The laser cannot return to its original position properly. Maybe the x-axis is not parallel. 51.5 cm, 53 cm. It means there is deviation on the left and right sides of the x-axis. Loosen the outer two screws of the coupling. Push the x-axis to the end. Tie it with a rear frame. Tighten the screws on the coupling. 